Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to do posters here. I'm going to do posters here because I've got a mass of stuff that I need to go through and I thought it was quite appropriate. Now this video is going to be uh, the same format and all that sort of stuff but it's slightly special. Uh, special for two reasons. The first thing is that I'll be completely honest I did not pay for any of this stuff. Uh, it's all been sent to me from icstation.com and they say uh, we'd like it if you just uh, briefly shown our website, uh, the description of the product on the website, just for a couple of seconds. And that's okay, because that's what I do with eBay anyway. I mean, I buy the stuff from eBay, I show, well, I talk about it for a few seconds, and I show you the, the um, description on the site. So, naturally, I've got no problem with that. Um, if you guys have got a problem with, with this, uh, then let me know. Um, it's very early days in a relationship with IC Station. Uh, so yeah, if any of you guys have got any issues, uh, just leave your issues in the comments and, uh, and I'll um, of course read them and uh, take note. Right, so the second reason this is an interesting video, uh, no, the second reason why this is a special video is because every one of these items uh, I think are interesting. And the reason being is because I chose the items. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll like this, but we'll see. Okay, the first item is this, and it says Huey Key, and it says DC 3 volts, 3 amps, 250 volts AC, and it says 30 volts DC. You can see that it's got a little aerial, or antenna, whatever you want to call it, and a chip, and the chip will be the ESP8266, and it's got a very weird backing on it, what the hell is that? So it's like a, I don't know, some sort of peelable thing on it. What is this? I don't know what that is, but anyway, it's got that peelable thing on it. Anyway, so this is obviously a relay, and it's a 250 volt relay for mains, and um, and it's got an ESP8266, which is a Wi-Fi thing. So it's basically a Wi-Fi controlled relay, and um, yeah, and it appears that that's all there is to it. So I'd imagine this is probably flashed with something and you'd imag I'd imagine you'd be able to connect to it and yeah, remotely turn uh, a mains device on or off, so that's quite cool. Uh, I'm actually quite excited to uh, to look into this thing and find out more about it. So the second item is this, and this is APF02, and the chip is PT2264. And this looks like a transmitter, and we've got a transmitter, uh, well, you know, a transistor and various other different bits and pieces. And um, we've got the labelling here, which has got uh, 13, 12, 11, 10, BCC and ground. 13, 12, 11 and 10, I imagine that's uh, the pin for the Arduino, which is uh, clock, chip select, um, you know, and the other two. And let's have a look at the back. Uh, Miso and Mosey, by the way, with the other two. Um, we've got some diodes. Something there that I don't recognise, and uh, a load of resistors. That's funny that they aren't actually soldered in. I don't know why that's the case, but there is there's something interesting going on there because it says H and L. So I think maybe you have to bridge those connections or something. It's a bit peculiar, but I'll find out more. But anyway, this looks like a a, a transmitter. The next item. Let's have a look. The next item is this, if I can get it out, let's have a look at the packaging first, TTL 485 RS 485, RS 485 means uh, TIA 485 if I remember rightly, which is, um, which is a, a standard or a protocol for communication. Anyway, this is TTL to RS 485 or vice versa. And what can we see here? We can see it's based on Max 485, which I've used that before. Uh, it's a transceiver chip, if I remember rightly. We've got some diodes, well, what look like diodes. A capacitor, a load of resistors, and we've got another chip here, which I'm not familiar with. Anyway, let's have a look at the back. So we've got VCC, RX, TX, and ground. So that's serial communication, uh, or TTL. Uh, for the Arduino, and we've got VCC and ground to power it. That'll probably be 5 volts, but not 100%. Then, on the RS485, or the TIA485, we've got B minus ground and A plus. 
No, I don't know anything about that. Um, B minus A plus, it doesn't make any sense to me that. I've used it before, briefly, this sort of thing. Like, I've got one for solar, but I don't fully understand it. Then we've got A plus and B minus there, which of course is the same. It's just on the other side of the board. So, yeah, I don't know a great deal about that, but it's it's a, a converter, transceiver, whatever you want to call it. TTL to uh, RS-485. That's quite interesting. The next thing is, if I can get it, it's this thing. Let's have a look at the packaging to start with. 18650 TC4056 TP405. So, I know what that is. That's a battery charger. Let me just zoom out a bit. Or a cell charger, I should say. So there's a charging module there. Let me just confirm what it says on it. TP4056. And I've got some of these. Uh, although mine aren't, aren't on boards like this. They're just little squares. Um, but this thing's been glued, it looks like. This case has been glued to it and soldered in. These cases are really good. They're much better than the wrap ones. Much, much better. For two reasons. First, th first thing is that these connectors actually connect properly. They connect properly. The other things don't connect properly. It's like as if they're made for slightly different cells. But these ones do connect properly. The second thing is that you can get the things out easily. You can just literally put your fingers out and pull the cell out. Whereas with the other ones, they wrap around and they sort of grip onto the cell. I suppose it's handy for, for some things, but not really handy for charging and whatever. Um, so anyway... We've got G and R, so one will be red LED and the other will be green LED. The red one will mean charging probably, and green will mean fully charged. So you plug in the uh, micro USB there, and it will charge you. Oh, what's all this on the back? TP4056, 4.2 volts, and amount of amperage. And it's saying about the cell. Yeah, so that was quite interesting. And the last item, what is this? Um, it is 8036 12 volt 3.3 volt PLC. PLC means production line controller, so I don't know if that's got any relevance. Let's have a look. Um, Alzard DST 1R4P hyphen N. What the hell is this? So You've got VCC in ground, so you obviously power the thing somehow. There's nothing on the back that's making any sense. So you power the thing, and it's got 0, 01, uh, 0, 01, 02, 03, and 04. 1 plus 1, minus, blah, 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 whatever that is. And what does it say here? We've got 12 volts. Ah, right, okay. Right. Um, I think I know what this is. And I think it's called a um, level shifter, I think. Oh, I'm not 100% at the moment. But it looks like it's level shifting from 12 volts to 3.3 and maybe the other way around, but then the arrow's only pointing down, so I don't know. Th that's my initial feeling, so when I have a look at the, um, the description in a minute, we'll find out for sure. And they look like opto-isolators, but again, I'm not 100% sure. So... Yeah, this looks like some sort of level shifting thing. We'll see. Uh, either way, it looks like it's very good quality. And in fact, I've got to, I've got to be honest. The, all of these parts look very good quality. So fair play to them. Anyway, let's have a look at the the, um, the descriptions now. Right. So where did I get these from? Of course, they're all from IC Station. And um, the first one um, would be four pound seventy one. And it says ESP8266 Wi-Fi IART, which means Internet of Things, wireless module, blah, 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 blah. And then over here we've got some images. I wonder what that actually is, that, that white, whatever it is, that white film stuff. Anyway, let's have a look down here and see what it says. And positioning of the series, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what that means. Integrates complete Wi-Fi communication protocol. Highly sensitive touch function. Ah. Right, okay. Cloud service, bi-directional controllable relay function. After the user gets the module, only needs simple packaging. Add peripheral equipment. 
increase the shell, you will need to get new Internet of Things products. Right, I don't know what that means, but um, application. There are some examples of where you could use it. Powerful cloud service function, high sensitivity touch touch function, maximum coverage of eight millimeter thick tempered glass. Right. So I think that peelable thing, you stick it to glass and maybe it'll work. I don't know. Equipped with the ESP8266 chip, which I think we all already know what that is. Maximum current switching, two amps. Okay, so two amps, 250, so that's 500 watts. Um, small size, etc. And then it's got the details that we would expect. And then it's got some very useful details. So, search Wi Fi with a mobile phone. Okay, and then you'll see that there'll be something with this. I assume that's the SSID or something. Password is this. Click to connect. Okay. And you connect to it. So this is the ESP uh, has like a server mode, it seems. Okay. Yeah, cool. So I'll have to give this a go. It looks very good. Um, and there's some diagrams and whatever. Okay. All right. That looks very interesting. Let's have a look at the next product. So this one says high power 315 MHz wireless transmitter, uh, OK, and then it's got the uh, voltage. Um, and there are some images, so £1.79, which is not, not bad value. So, <clears throat> operating current 15 milliamps, distance 500 meters in an open field. Um, Okay, that's interesting too. I'll have to check that out. <clears throat> the next thing, TTL to RS-485 conversion module, automatic lighting and surging protection. Right, okay. £2.10. <clears throat> Circuit simple and practical and connection simple. One port connects with the 485 module and the other one can connect with SCM. I don't know what SCM is. Uh, circuit is light and easy to install. Maximum communication distance is 1,200 meters. It's the fastest. Uh, the fastest stated transmission is 10 mega. Whatever that is. Um, RS-45. The farthest communication distance. Blah blah blah. Okay. And then it's got the description here. Um, SCM. What is SCM? Um, okay. I suppose that's reasonably self-explanatory. I do need to use one of these soon as well. And then we've got this thing, which is 198, which is the charger uh, module. This is very self-explanatory. I don't think I need to go into this. Oh, apart from that, yeah. Red means charging, green means fully charged. That's fairly common sense. And, uh, and there we go. Uh, okay, so what's next? Right, 4-bit optocoupler isolator, 12 volts to 3.3 volts, level voltage converter board. Ah, right, okay, so it is what I thought it was, and that's £2.99. Mm -mm. Let's see what it says here. So, the first signal input, the first signal input minus, the first signal output, okay. Right, that's very interesting. It's got the schematic. Right, okay, this is very interesting. I'll have to do a video on this as well to explain how this thing works and exactly uh, what it does. But anyway, they are the five modules. Uh, so thanks again to IC Station for supplying them. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.